friends my name is Isil Khan and in this episode we will be learning about the materials quantity calculation for main holes which of course can include excavation, PCC work, RCC work and then of course the brickwork, plaster work inside or outside and then of course the stairs or you can say the iron steps. Now before going into the details let me assume a nice sketch of the main hole. For this time, let's say if we have the base of PCC, which is of course 6 inches thick, and then we have the brick wall, and the brick wall is of course 9 inches, which means the thickness of the wall is 9 inches. And then of course we have RCC slab, which is also 6 inches thick, and the slab also has a main hole, which has of course the diameter equals 18 inches. Also, let's pretend if we have 3 inches thick PCC in the floor and let's say we have the iron steps just like in this palm shown, right? Just right below the main hole. And the final thing, let's say we have the pipe right at the middle of uh, this thing. I mean the triangular portion, right? So this is just the section of the main hole and the plan maybe just look like in this palm if you are good in the drawing subject, okay? So it's the plan and the size of the main hole is 3 by 2.5 feet and that's final. But keep in mind this drawing is NTS or not to scale. All the data is just uh, assumed, right? You can just assume that uh, like in this palm. And let's say if we are asked to work out the palving items quantity, the first thing excavation per main hole construction and second the concrete work in the foundation and superstructure. Third one is the brick work in the walls and then the inside plaster and fifth one is of course the iron steps. It's quite simple actually, so I'll come directly into the solution and abstract up quantities. And actually we have two methods over here. The first method is to do the calculation directly, right? And the another method is to use a table for inputs. As you can see in this screenshot, I have taken this screenshot of course from the previous uh, lecture and that was the abstract up quantities for underground water tank. If you have not watched that video yet, the link is down below in the video description or you can search this video in the quantity survey playlist. So we have two methods, the direct calculation method and to use the table. As you can see the table has been already used in the last video. So this time let me try the direct calculation method for this thing, right? I mean for the manhole. And let's say the first thing I want to calculate is the excavation which should be of course the area and plan times the depth of excavation. And as you can see, the plan of this main hole is just like a rectangle. So excavation must be the area and plan. There's of course the length times breadth and the depth of excavation. So it's actually just like the volume, which is of course on the volume of a right rectangular prism, the length, breadth and depth multiplication. So excavation must be the length. What should be the length? I believe it must be 5.5 feet. And I can get this of course if we add all these parameters like uh, 3 feet plus uh, 2 times the wall thickness which is of course 9 inches. So plus 9 inches plus 9 inches and plus 6 inches which is of course that bearing portion you can say if you see of course. So plus 6 inches and plus 6 inches to the another side. When you add all these parameters, of course, we can get the length equals 5.5 feet and that's it. Times the breadth and I believe the breadth must be of course 5 feet. And this is actually the same method as we did for the length. Like uh, the breadth should be 2.5 feet plus 2 times the wall thickness per one side and another side which is of course 9 inches and plus uh, 2 times the bearing can be added which is of course 6 inches. So that's of course the breadth which is 5 feet and now the depth is of course 3.5 feet if you see which is of course 3 feet which is the uh, depth of wall below the ground level plus the thickness of PCC work in the bed if you see. 
So 3 plus 6 inches, that's of course 3.5 feet. Now if you multiply these three things, I mean the length, breadth and depth of excavation, we can get of course the total quantity of excavation equals 96.25 CFT. Here CFT means the cubic feet. And now let's go ahead to calculate PCC in the bed and that's of course 6 inches, right? So the same thing we can use as we did for the excavation because uh, these are actually the same things. The only thing which is different over here is the depth of PCC work. This time we'll use the depth as a thickness of that layer which is of course 6 inches. So it means the PCC in bed must be the length, breadth and times the depth of that PCC layer. That's quite simple. So the PCC in bed must be the length. The length is the same thing which is of course the length of excavation. So 5.5 feet should be the length of PCC and the breadth is of course also the same which is 5 feet and then the depth must be a little different which is in this time we have of course 0.5 feet or 6 inches and now if you multiply these three things I mean the length breadth and depth of the PCC layer we can get of course the PCC which is of course 13.75 CFT. So actually we got two things. The first one is the total excavation and the second one is the PCC and bed layer. And the third thing which we are going to calculate now is the PCC and floor. And that's of course actually that triangular portion, right? That right angle triangular portion. And I can do it uh, by two ways. The first way is to calculate the sectional area of that triangle portion and then multiply it with the length so we can get of course the volume of that concrete and the another way is to multiply the top or the plan area with the average depth. Actually I like that method because it's little time saver so the concrete work or the PCC and floor must be the length, breadth times its average height or depth okay that's good. So PCC must be the length. Length is actually the same thing if you see that's 3 feet right because uh, that portion or that triangular portion is right inside the main hole and that size is known right that's actually the total length you can say and the breadth is also the same 2.5 of course. Now the average depth we have actually 3 inches is the vertical leg of the triangle or you can say the perpendicular. So that's one depth and at the middle we have of course zero right. So 3 inches is actually uh, 0 0.25 feet. So times 0 0.25 and plus zero right because the depth at the middle point is equal to zero right. Now we have two uh, actually digits. So we can uh, divide this thing by 2 to get the average depth. So by doing little math with these guys, we can get of course the PCC and floor equals 0 0.9375 CFT and that's it. That's so simple. And then we can move ahead for the brickwork in the walls. But uh, before uh, doing that thing, uh, I want to calculate the RCC of slab because that's quite simple and uh, uh, the brickwork is little complicated that's why I'll do that guy a little late no problem. So the RCC must be in the slab on uh, the length breadth and height that's also the same thing as we did for the PCC in excavation. It's volume it's all about the volume right. So the length breadth and the thickness that must be the total volume of RCC minus pi d squared divided by 4 why that? because there is a main hole in the slab okay so we will subtract the volume of that main hole and the volume of that main hole must be pi d squared divided by 4 which is the area of the main hole times the thickness of the slab that's good so now the only thing we have to do is the plug and chicken in these formulas like the rcc and slab equals the length the length is the same thing okay that's just 4.5 feet Say how? Because we have the length which is inside equals 3 feet. So we'll add of course 9 inches per the one side of wall and 9 inches per the another side is the overlap of the slab. So 9 inches plus 9 inches is 18 inches which is 1.5 feet. 
So 3 plus 1.5 feet equals 4.5 feet. That's it. And the breadth actually that must be 4 feet like 2.5 feet plus 18 inches. That's 4 feet of course. And the thickness that's known which is of course uh, 6 inches or uh, 0.5 feet. Now we'll subtract the volume of the manhole which is pi d squared by 4 times the thickness of the slab. So pi times d. d is the diameter which is 18 inches or you can say 1.5 feet. 18 inches equals 1.5 feet. Okay. So pi times 1.5 square divided by 4 times the thickness of the slab which is 6 inches or you can say 0.5 feet. And that's it. So when you do a long mathematic with the uh, left hand side we can get RCC in slab which is the total volume actually. That must be 9 or uh, CFT and the deduction for the main hole must be of course 0.884. And that's of course RCC in the slab equals 8.12 CFT. So we got another two parameters, the PCC in the floor and the RCC in the slab. And the fifth thing I want to calculate is the brickwork for the walls. And again, I can do this uh, by many ways. Like you may have heard about the long wall, short wall method. And there is also another method of the center line method. And actually I have done uh, videos on those two methods, the long wall and short wall method. Also I have done a video about the center line method. So I will not discuss about those things over here. The new method I have actually is to subtract the inside volume of the box from the outside volume of the box. And let me just uh, show you a model. If you remember the uh, model should look like in this palm if you or take the main hole in mind just like in this palm. If we have a box and you make it uh, hollow just like in this palm. So we have of course the main hole just like in this palm if you palm the walls in real life. Okay. That's just the model. So what if I subtract the inside box volume from the outside. Of course I can get the volume of walls. Okay. That's so simple. Just like in that palm. So of course the brickwork for the walls, for the both wall must be the volume of external box minus the volume of internal box. Now what should be the volume of external box? Well, that's the same thing. We'll just multiply the length, breadth and its height with each other. Okay. So the length must be 4.5 just like in that form. We did of course a few minutes ago. Okay. Like uh, 3 feet plus 9 inches plus 9 inches that must be of course the total length per the external box which is 4.5. Now the breadth is the same actually 4 feet like 2.5 plus 18 inches. 18 inches is actually uh, 9 inches plus 9 inches okay for the thickness of the wall. So that's 4 feet. Now what should be the height of the box? Of course, it should be uh, 3 feet plus 1 feet, which is of course 4 feet again. And minus volume of internal box and the size is actually given, which is 3 times 2.5 times 4. It's given, okay. Now by doing some maths, we can get the volume of external box equals 72 CFT and the volume of internal box equals 30 CFT, which is of course 42 CFT is the total brickwork per the walls. So we got five things. The fifth one is now the brickwork and the sixth one I want to calculate is the inside cluster. And that's actually so simple. Okay. Cluster is always calculated in palm up area. And then of course, or when you do or the analysis of materials, you can of course include the thickness of cluster, but over here, uh, it should be in palm up of course area okay and the area may be actually the parameter which must be the inside parameter because we are going to calculate the inside cluster okay so the parameter times the height should be the inside cluster now what should be the inside parameter of course we can just uh, add all the edges of the internal rectangle okay like 3 plus 3 for the long walls 
and 2.5 plus 2.5 for the short while or you can say just like in date palm like uh, 3 times 2 right plus uh, 2.5 times 2 just like in date palm simple okay now the height must be of course uh, the height of that wall which we are going to uh, plaster okay and that's of course 4 feet also we can remove or deduct a little height for that uh, vertical portion or triangle of course you can say our uh, for that portion of PCC work in the floor but that is actually ignorable like uh, uh, we have ignored the uh, hole for the uh, pipe you can say for the uh, walls uh, brickwork that was also ignorable just like in date farm we can of course ignore this one it's very small video okay so the perimeter times the height must be of course the inside plaster which is 44 SFT are square feet. So number six, we have of course inside plaster equals 44 SFT, and number seven we have iron steps, and those are of course already shown in the drawing. So we don't need to calculate those, right? Those are of course three a direct 12 inches center to center, and number eight we have manhole covers, and as you can see the drawing is just a simple. I mean. Uh, the manhole is just one okay so the cover should be one and the cover uh, diameter is of course already shown which is 18 inches so we can demand of course one cover with 18 inches dia okay so these are of course eight things we did and uh, there is nothing complicated in these things okay thank you dears for watching see you next time